Elder Scrolls Online on a Mac. So here's my exact setup on that title there that you see. I'm using a Mac Mini, a late 2012 Mac Mini. And the graphics card that I have is the minimum graphics card for Elder Scrolls, according to their website, which is a big deal. If you have a higher graphics card, they recommend it. You will have better results. But finally, there is a good game for the Mac that's not a two-year-old port over from a PC game. So here's the game on the maximum settings with my computer. And as you can see, it looks good, but it is choppy. And while you're recording, uh, as I am, you have more issues. So I would, I would really say, even if I'm not recording, it's unplayable on all of the settings turned all the way up. Uh, what you're looking at now, this is the minimum settings of the game. And while the performance is great, the, vis the, the actual visual experience is awful. Uh, things only appear when they're about 5 feet in front of you, <laughs> 10 feet in front of you. So you, you'll either walk into a trap or you will um, miss totally important things that you would have loved to go experience. So now you're looking at mid-range settings. Um, I, it's playable. It's not as beautiful as it would be with a totally souped up PC, but I'm not a fan of PCs in the slightest. So um, here's, here's some of the things that I've noticed, though. The distance issue... Um, if you have a poorly performing computer, and I'll, I'll get into that in a second, but if you're in a melee like here, I've killed the, car the bad guy, and now I just keep swinging. I'm not clicking the mouse. It's just catching up to all the clicks. So if you don't have it set right, that's what you're going to have. And then the other thing is if you have your settings too high for your computer, uh, well it will skip the animation of certain characters. So horses will remain, their legs remain stationary um, while they move. So it just looks like they're, you know, like automatons on a track. And sometimes people look that way too. It just definitely kills the whole experience. So, all right, now here's the optimized settings that I have for my Elder Scrolls setup. The resolution of my monitor is actually... 1920 by 1200. Um, but what you want to do is actually set it lower. I have mine set to 1280 by 800. Um, that reduces the resolution, obviously, but it still looks good. Then you have vertical sync on anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing softens the edges of everything and that's kind of more realistic otherwise you get that pixely rough edge. I keep the gamma brighter. I like brighter than darker. Um, now here we go on the actual graphics. Texture quality medium, subsampling quality medium, shadow quality medium, water reflection though it looks awesome I just have it on off particle density, medium, view distance, that to me is important. I don't want to max it out because it does affect the processor, but I have mine set at 79. And then all of these off except for grass. And I'd love to have these on, but obviously it won't hack it. So let me just show you here. Oops. Okay, so here you have the actual gameplay now with those settings. It's a lot more fluid. Um, it's a lot softer. And then you do, of course, have anti-aliasing on, but um, it does look a lot better. And even when you record, it works pretty good. And here's some tips for improving performance aside from the settings in the game. Um, you want to make sure that you have empty hard drive space. And I've noticed that if I have about 100 empty gigs on my hard drive, the operating system and the game will perform much better. Uh, if you are recording, 
that is going to change the performance of your gameplay significantly. You're doing two uh, hard drive and um, processor intensive tasks. So you are going to have that as an issue. So the only other thing is that I can think of at the moment is to kill all background processes like Time Machine. Time Machine really slows down your computer. Turn that off. Turn off anything that, you know, any apps that you may have running. And you can always get more RAM. But usually on a Mac, you're kind of stuck with the graphics card. Uh, they're usually hardwired into the main board. So anyway, I hope that helps in your decision, or at least gives you an idea of what to expect. And if you want more videos like this, or if you want to request something specific, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.